Well, Fraser, many congratulations. What a win over 2005 World Champion Sean yeah. Murphy. Just how pleased you with that? No, delighted. Um, probably my best one, really, considering the stage of the tournament. I've not been in many last 16, so to win against someone like Sean, obviously it's, it's a great one. Um, I beat Stuart Bingham last week in Canuck to qualify for the European, so obviously that's gave me confidence, kind of going forward into this. And then Jose and I've beat, who is obviously He's just off the beating Ronnie, five 0 at, at Canuck as well. So, I uh, starting to get some some wins. Yeah, in terms team. of full ranking events, this is the first time you'll ever got into the last sixteen. I will, obviously, I've done it in the PTC, the Paul Hunter, but that's not classed as a rank event. So, yeah, so I mean, I keep, I keep getting told I've not been in the last sixteen. Well, I have, but <laughs> obviously that doesn't count. So. But especially if you can now take it, Luca Brussel up tonight. So you know, exactly. especially if you can take advantage and try and push on and really go to the, the latter stages of this. Ah, thing. Exactly. Like a psychological thing could that be for you going well, forward? Exactly. I mean, I don't know if does this count in towards the cut off for the UK. I'm not. Yeah. Sure. Does it? So I mean, that's going to help my ranking and give me a slightly more favourable draw instead of. I think just now I was sitting on zero points, although I'd qualified for this and I've qualified for the European. So. Currently, I was kind of facing likes of a top eight player. Well, this this will boost me up a wee bit, and maybe I don't know, maybe somewhere around about 20, 25, I don't know, but that's going to be a, a bit of a help, I suppose. But no. As you, as you say, some fantastic results recently. What mm. has there been anything in particular on the practice day that you've seen? You I've actually about? practiced for the last. Normally, I work. I don't play like full time the way a lot of the players do. I kind of I'll play for a week before the tournament and turn up and see how it goes. And then I'll go back and work and I'll not pick up my queue till maybe a week before the next one. But from, well, for the qualifiers, kind in Barnsley, I've not really worked, I've just been playing. So maybe just starting to see the benefits of that, I suppose. And likes of getting a couple of wins, you start getting a bit of confidence. And then when you get close to winning line, you can go over it instead of kind of panicking and you start missing things. Do you know what I mean? It's, I mean, I know, I know my game's there. Like, I know I can beat kind of the top guys, and I can maybe no win turns, but I can go deep in turns if I play well. It's just trying to put it together when you're out there. And that's the hard part. And what what have you? What do you do for work away from? A delivery driver, Amazon. And and how how, how how long have you been doing that? Is that? I've been doing that. Well, I've never played full time. I used to work in the, in the bar in the snooker club that I played in years ago. I worked in. I worked in there for maybe 10 years alongside playing on the tour, so I've actually never played full time. That's kind of always been my target to try and start the season well and make enough money that I can actually play full time and then see where I can go. But maybe now this will give me a chance. Yeah, is that the I suppose you, you, you know, you came back on tour again through Key School this uh, season. Is, is that the, the goal to try and, as you say, go on enough of a run now and, well, and really sort of cement yourself as a, a, a full on super professional? I just, as I say, my goal is kind of to be able to actually play full time and see where I can go. Like, I've been up at, I don't know, 67, 68 in the rankings before, like the year you're talking about with the Paul Hunter tournament. Um, but even that, I never played full time. It was just one month. I'd done really well, like November into December. I'd done well and that kind of boosted my ranking. But even at that, most of that money went on Christmas. Like, there's just, there's always something kind of going on. We'd literally just moved house as well at that time, so I think I got like maybe twelve and a half grand between November and December, and it went on the house and on Christmas. So that money just totally went straight away, and then I was back coming to work and no playing again. It's just always been kind of a vicious cycle, I suppose you could say. And finally, that game with Luca Brussel tonight—that definitely will be to get to the furthest you've ever been mm -hmm. in, in an event on tour. How, how much are you looking forward to that occasion? I'll be brilliant. I didn't. I didn't actually know it was Luca. Someone had told me I was in Ronnie's section, so I had a feeling it was it was going to be Ronnie. I've never played Ronnie, but I've played Luca twice. Um, I beat him in the World Qualifiers uh, years ago, and then he beat me in a PTC again years ago. So I only played twice, so it'll be something different. Someone I've not played for years. Just go enjoy it, and see how it goes. I suppose.